Hey everybody, Plant Palacia here, and today we're going to be talking about the Kinocactus grusoni, also called the Golden Barrel Cactus. The Golden Barrel Cactus is a phenomenal plant to learn about succulents, cacti, or anything similar, just because of how easy it is to take care of. This means that it can be used for beginners, intermediates, or advanced level, and it looks nice for everybody because it's so simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that it has full sunlight. Full sunlight isn't put it in the sun for part of the day, it's put it in the full sun for all day, all time. And a lot of people say you can grow these indoors. I haven't done it. I like to grow my cacti outside because, well, they're cactus. They came from the desert. They're going to want to have as close to a natural environment as possible. So I put it outside and that way it gets the full sun the entire day. For watering, you're going to want to make sure that you water it about once a week, unless you're in winter. If you're in the winter, this once a week is going to be spread out to about once every month because winter's going to last around three months and you're going to want to water around three to four times throughout the entire season. This is because you want to kind of let the plant hibernate itself so that way it can grow bigger once the new season comes for growth. When you do water, make sure that you deep water your plants. Deep watering is when the water's going to go all the way down to the bottom of the soil, the roots go down to chase the water, the roots get bigger, your plant gets bigger, everybody's happy. But this plant in particular, it's really cool when it gets big. So it takes around 15 to 20 years and there's no specific size, but once the plant gets large enough, it can actually flower. And these flowers are kind of rare because of how long it takes to grow. So if you can get it there, that's phenomenal. However, it doesn't always flower and that's okay. It's not necessarily something you're doing wrong. It just might not be big enough yet. It also has pups. Pups are the side offspring of a mother plant in a cactus like this one. So this plant has none, but pups are going to appear all around the edges over there. And right there, that way you can get more of the golden barrel cactuses and grow them even larger. For your hardy zone, it really prefers zones 9 to 11, but you can try to grow anywhere. We have such great technology now that you can kind of artificially stimuli, stimulate so many different environments, whether you have a greenhouse, indoor green lights, or even growing it inside. If you do grow it inside, just make sure you do like I said, and put it in the full sunlight if you can. For the last couple of care needs, you're going to want to consider the temperature and how fast it grows because that determines if it's a good fit for you. The temperature is going to be around a 70 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you can't get this outside, that's okay. You can do what we talked about earlier and grow it inside. Just make sure that you meet all the other requirements that we listed, such as the heat, water, and if you need to, fertilizer. As for the size, it's going to grow around 2 to 3 centimeters every single year, so you don't have to replant it that often. Repotting is probably one of the more difficult things you have to do with succulents because of how much could go wrong. You have to touch the plants, which is going to help possibly ruin the leaves. You have to do it with a cactus, which could stab you. And it's really just a complicated process, and it's where a lot of our plants are actually going to die because they don't take well to the new environment. But if this plant is so great for everybody, what could go wrong? Well, the spines. It's a cactus. Since it is a cactus, its primary defense is spines, however it has a secondary defense inside of it. The sap is going to accumulate a lot of different negative things over time, and it's going to end up being toxic to us to ingest. So we want to make sure you don't eat the cactus. I know a lot of people say cactus is fine to eat, and certain types are. This one is not. Do not eat this cactus. Speaking of the spines, they actually have a useful purpose. They're going to catch water and then they're going to travel down. And that's just beyond the effect of you don't want to bite it because predators are just going to get stabbed in the mouth a bunch of times. So the sap inside, if you actually get to the sap inside, can cause rashes to the skin. So if that happens, make sure you wash it off. This should not be taken as your sole medical advice and I do recommend going to a doctor. However, to demonstrate that this is a safe plant to have, we're going to try touching it. I haven't done this before because it's a cactus and who would willingly touch a cactus but I guess we're gonna find out what it does right now so I'm not sure the best way to do this but if we just you can tap it here lightly and that definitely I can feel like the prick and it's a bad idea to do this yeah very bad idea so these spines have sharp ends and I know that they don't necessarily look that sharp but they're very thin and they're very pointy and I yeah. <laughs> if I hit any harder, I have a feeling that it could definitely pierce the skin, which is something that you don't want to do. If that happens, you want to make sure that you wash it. These spines gather bacteria over time because it is nature, and then it's going to pierce all of through your skin, and it could lead to an infection. And infections are very bad ideas, so we're going to stop doing that. Oh, I definitely poked myself. But yeah, they're definitely safe to have around. I don't recommend slamming your hand. If you fall into it, it's probably not the best thing, but they're safe to have, so I recommend getting one. Other than that, 
If you have any questions about your golden barrel cactus, similar cacti, or if you like these care series and would like to see more about different specifics of plants, let me know down below. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more than me. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week. See you guys next time.